The internet has found one of the most ridiculous New York City studio apartments. There's a video that got posted over the weekend, and it is going viral. Here it is. This is what people are worried about in New York City right now. Here's a 235 square foot studio in Harlem that's actually really, really nice and may be worth the money. First off, it's located in a brownstone on a really nice block with a nice entryway. You have this gorgeous exposed brick wall, a really nice modern kitchen. You even have a dishwasher and a microwave in there with a decent amount of cabinet space. Then you have those windows in front, which are really, really nice, and a split unit heat and AC with really nice hardwood floors. You have a closet right here, another half a closet in the bathroom, which is also pretty nice and modern. The boiler takes up half that closet, but it's still good for like suitcases, but it's a really usable space and it's really nice. This one's $1,900 a month. <laughs> all right, a couple of things. First of all, we've all lived in New York City, so we know the highs, the lows. We've been to friends who have nice apartments, and we don't go to our friends' apartments that aren't very nice. That was actually a very, very nice studio apartment in New York, about 300 square feet, give or take, uh, and it had really nice floors, had a nice exposed brick, had all the cabinets had a uh, microwave, had a uh, actual bathroom. The whole like everything he said in that video is true, which sounds ridiculous to people outside of New York. But inside of New York, that's actually a very, very nice studio. You're not buying a two bedroom. You're not get renting out a three bedroom. You're not renting out a one bedroom. You're getting a studio. What do you expect? It's going to be small. It's a studio apartment. The other thing that I think is really interesting is nineteen hundred dollars is a steal in New York City. It's in Harlem, so it's not actually in Manhattan, but still 1,900 bucks for that type of place. I actually think that that's a pretty nice place that is gonna get snapped up really, really quick. What do you guys think? Yeah, I, I don't think it's that bad at all. I mean, it's relative, right? If you've lived in New York City and you've been to some of these places and you've experienced all this, you get it a lot more than someone who has never been to New York City or doesn't live in New York City. $1,900 in the Midwest for an apartment like that, people would, would literally have a heart attack. So I think it depends on kind of where you're from and where your experience is. But the thing to remember about New York is it's all supply and demand, right? There's 8 million people that live inside of a, a very small square mileage city. And there's some of the best restaurants in the world. There's some of the best uh, bars in the world, some, some different museums and all these things. Central Park, all these things that you can go and do. So from simply a supply and demand perspective, like this is what happens. This is why the rents are so high. This is why the places look like this. And this is why some people are able to get away with this. But I don't think this is one to make a video about. Like anyone who's been in New York is like, hey, actually, that's not really probably that bad. Yeah, it's like the Yogi Berra quote, you know, uh, nobody ever goes there anymore because it's too busy. Yeah. That, that's basically uh, yeah. New York normally, right? Yeah. It, it's like, yeah, it's the reason why there's such high prices is because demand's through the roof. John, what do you think? I mean, it's in a brownstone. It's in Harlem. It is, what, 250, 300 square feet. It's really not that bad. $1,900 is expensive, but it's all relative, right? When you do look at New York City, the rent is some of the highest in the world for price per square foot, and living in the city is very expensive. So what what you get out of that, I think, is the experience of living in New York City and you get all the things that come along with that. But the actual apartment itself is pretty nice. It's updated. It has nice floors. It has just probably enough closet space for you as a one individual. But you have to understand it's a studio apartment. It's not a two bedroom. It's not going to be 1,500 square feet because if that was 1,500 square feet, you'd be paying a lot more than 1,900. Buyer or seller in terms of renting that apartment? I bet that's already rented. Yeah, I, it's it'll go. Yeah, sure. I, I have no doubt. The, the what <laughs> apartments in New York City? It's like you sign on on site. We, they, they go facts. very, very quickly. The only place better than New York City is Miami. But hey, that apartment is pretty nice for New York City. And I don't think that people should be freaking out. If you want really viral stuff, I'm sure we could find some videos of some apartments <laughs> with little rats running across, no <laughs> windows, no exposed brick, no hardwood floors. They basically just give you a little bit of a roof, maybe half a kitchen, half a bath. And they say, good luck. <laughs>